What is 3i Atlas revealing about itself as it continues to release carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nickel, and now copious amounts of water? A visitor from deep space, 3i Atlas, has been puzzling astronomers for months. Its speed, its chemical signature, and its path all defy easy explanation. So we don't know how big it actually is, a minimum size that it could have, and that one is already, you know, 100,000 times bigger in mass than the first interstellar object. To get answers, a team of scientists fed all the known data into a next-generation quantum AI, hoping it could find a pattern they had missed. It did. The simulation returned results that were so unexpected, so far outside the realm of known physics, that the project was immediately shrouded in secrecy. The AI didn't just solve the puzzle. It revealed that 3i Atlas might not be a visitor at all. The simulation that broke reality. You see, for months, the interstellar object known as 3i Atlas has been a ghost in our cosmic backyard. It appeared without warning, moving at over 100,000 miles per hour and behaving in ways that left astronomers scratching their heads. They pointed the James Webb Space Telescope at it collecting every scrap of data they could. But the thing is, even our best classical supercomputers couldn't make sense of it all. The numbers were just weird. The object's chemistry seemed wrong, its trajectory was slightly off, and it was brighter than it had any right to be. Many people are crazy about these cosmic mysteries, but this was different. This felt less like a puzzle and more like a warning. So. A specialized team at a joint NASA and Google AI facility decided to do something unprecedented. They fed every single petabyte of data from Webb, Hubble, and ground-based observatories into Prometheus, their new quantum AI. This wasn't just a bigger calculator. Prometheus was designed to think in a way human minds can't. It doesn't process information linearly. It explores every possible reality, every potential outcome, all at once. Its purpose was to find the one simulation that perfectly matched the bizarre behavior of 3i Atlas. After running for just 72 hours, processing more information than all of humanity has created in its entire history, Prometheus delivered its verdict. And the results were far more shocking than anyone could have ever prepared for. The AI didn't just give them an answer, it gave them a nightmare. The most shocking fact is that the AI concluded with 99.9% .9 certainty that 3i Atlas was not a natural object. It was a machine. But that wasn't the scary part. What truly terrified the scientists was the AI's simulation of the object's mission. According to Prometheus, our visitor wasn't just passing through. It was here for a reason, and its final destination was something no one had ever considered. The object's true mission was far more complex than simple observation. What many overlooked in the initial frenzy was how the quantum AI came to its startling conclusion. Prometheus didn't just say 3i Atlas was artificial, it showed its work. The first piece of evidence was the chemical composition. Classical computers saw the strange abundance of carbon dioxide and the bizarre lack of iron next to nickel as statistical outliers. Prometheus saw it as a design choice. The AI ran simulations on thousands of theoretical alien alloys and propulsion systems, cross-referencing them with the object's emissions. The result? The chemical signature of 3i Atlas was a near-perfect match for the theoretical outgassing of a decaying fusion-based power source, specifically one using a nickel-based superalloy as a containment vessel. You see, this wasn't just a random mix of space ice and dust. It was the exhaust signature of a dying engine. Then came the trajectory. The subtle, non-gravitational accelerations had puzzled everyone. The AI, however, simulated not just the object itself, but the space-time around it. It found that the small nudges in its path weren't random. They were precise, timed course corrections. What was truly mind-blowing was that the AI predicted these corrections before they happened. It had identified a pattern, a flight plan, the simulation showed 3i Atlas was using the gravitational pull of Jupiter and Saturn, not just as a slingshot, but as a braking system, bleeding off its immense interstellar velocity to settle into a stable, observational orbit around our Sun. To put it mildly, this object was navigating. The most chilling result of the simulation, however, 
was the energy analysis. The object was far too bright for its size. The AI simulated every known natural phenomenon, cosmic ray impacts, electrostatic discharge, resonant scattering, and none of them explained the steady, unwavering glow. The only simulation that fit the data was one that included an active internal energy source. Prometheus calculated the output at roughly 15 gigawatts. That's the equivalent of 15 large nuclear power plants running non-stop. And you can see this everywhere in the data. The heat signature was too stable, the light output too consistent. This wasn't a dead rock reflecting sunlight. It was a powered vessel, and it was broadcasting its presence for anyone smart enough to listen. Prometheus didn't just solve the puzzle of 3i Atlas, it rewrote the entire question. Atlas's final warning. As 3i Atlas began its long journey back out of our solar system, scientists figured the mystery would remain unsolved forever. But they were wrong. One final, unexpected event occurred that has forced a complete re-evaluation of everything. Just as the object passed the orbit of Neptune, on the very edge of our ability to track it, radio telescopes around the world detected a single, powerful, and unmistakably artificial signal emanating from it. It wasn't a long message, just a short, structured burst of information lasting for exactly 11 minutes. The most shocking fact is that this signal wasn't aimed at some distant star system. It was aimed directly at Earth. The signal was incredibly complex, layered with information on multiple frequencies. At first, cryptographers were baffled. It didn't match any known communication protocol. So, they fed the raw signal data to Prometheus, the same quantum AI that had first identified Atlas as an artificial object. The AI processed the signal in seconds, and what it translated has been deemed the most significant and terrifying piece of information humanity has ever received. The thing nobody tells you is that the signal wasn't a greeting. It was a warning. The AI's translation was not in words, but in pure mathematics and physics. The first part of the message was a detailed star map, but it wasn't a map of our region of the galaxy. It showed a star system thousands of light years away, and it highlighted a specific planet with a chilling detail. Its star was dying. The simulation showed the star was undergoing a rapid, unnatural decay, and the message seemed to be a distress call, a final testament from a civilization facing extinction. But the last part of the signal was what truly horrified the scientists. It contained a complex data packet that the AI identified as a biological blueprint, a complete genetic sequence for a life form not of this Earth. To put it mildly, they had just received the DNA of an alien species. Was this a final act of desperation? A civilization sending its legacy into the cosmos? The revelation that 3i Atlas had transmitted the genetic code of an alien species sent shockwaves through the highest levels of government and science. You see, this was no longer a matter of astronomy. It had become a question of biology, ethics, and national security. The quantum AI, Prometheus, began running simulations on the alien DNA, and what it found was both awe-inspiring and deeply unnerving. The genetic structure was incredibly complex, far more efficient and resilient than human DNA. It showed adaptations for extreme radiation, low temperatures, and long periods of suspended animation. This was the DNA of a species built to survive the cold, unforgiving void of interstellar space. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was the warning embedded within the genetic code itself. The AI found repeating sequences that didn't code for any biological function. Instead, they formed a mathematical message, a historical record of the species' downfall. The simulation painted a grim picture, a civilization that had achieved interstellar travel but had fallen victim to a cosmic plague, a self-replicating nanite swarm that consumed their star and their worlds. The DNA they sent wasn't just a record of their existence, it was a warning about the plague that had destroyed them. The most shocking fact is that the final part of the signal contained the nanites' own deactivation code, a last-ditch effort to give another civilization a chance to fight back if the plague ever reached them. This changes everything we thought we knew about the Fermi Paradox, the question of why we haven't found evidence of other intelligent life. What if advanced civilizations aren't silent because they're afraid of each other? 
What if they're silent because something else is out there, hunting them? The AI simulation suggested that the nanite plague spreads from star to star, and that 3i Atlas wasn't just a probe, it was a lifeboat, a cosmic arc sent out in the final moments of a dying civilization. For people watching this, it's a chilling thought. We've been searching for a message from the stars, but we never expected it to be an SOS. The final question remains, was this warning sent to us in time, the end of the beginning? So what are we left with? The neat, predictable universe we thought we inhabited has been shattered, and its pieces are scattered across the desks of every major world leader and defense agency. We have a mysterious object that defied the known laws of physics, a quantum AI simulation that looked at its impossible trajectory and called it a machine, and a final terrifying signal that serves as both a tombstone for one civilization and a dire warning for our own. The thing is, 3i Atlas is now gone. It's moving too fast and is too far away for us to ever catch it, a ghost ship fading back into the cosmic ocean. Its final message is all we have left. And you can see the impact of this message everywhere if you know where to look. It's in the quiet panic spreading through the scientific and military communities, a silent alarm that rings behind closed doors. The data has been classified under layers of security we didn't even know existed. Public statements have been carefully managed, blandly referring to a highly anomalous interstellar object, while behind the scenes, a global search has begun for any other objects that match the impossible profile of 3i Atlas. The world's most powerful telescopes are being retasked, their schedules wiped clean to hunt for more ghosts. But the official story is just a thin veil over a chasm of terrifying possibilities. Some analysts, speaking in hushed tones in secure locations, are asking a darker question. What if the warning wasn't just about a past event? The Fermi paradox, the eerie silence in a universe that should be teeming with life, suddenly has a chilling new explanation. It's not that civilizations are rare, it's that something is making them rare. This theory posits that the Great Filter isn't a natural barrier, but an active, intelligent force a cosmic predator, a silent hunter that moves between the stars, consuming advanced civilizations before they can become a threat. In this horrifying scenario, 3i Atlas wasn't just an arc fleeing a dying star, it was a lifeboat escaping a slaughter. Its creators weren't victims of a natural disaster, they were prey. The AI's simulation has given us a glimpse into a universe far more complex and potentially more dangerous than we ever imagined. It suggests, we are not alone, but that the reason for the silence might be because other civilizations have already fallen, one by one, into the hands of this unseen enemy. Are we just the next in line? Or does this warning give us a fighting chance? For the people watching this, it might seem like a story that happened overnight, a mystery solved by a machine. But the truth is, this is just the beginning of a new, terrifying chapter in human history. Then, there is the matter of the message itself. What many have overlooked is that the final part of the Atlas signal wasn't just a warning, it was a map. A map pointing not to the civilization's dead homeworld, but to a safe harbor system where they may have sent other arcs. The quantum AI is still trying to decipher its exact location, wrestling with star charts that are millions of years old. And this leads to an even more paranoid theory. Could the map be a trap? Think about it, a desperate, dying civilization might do anything to survive. What if they made a deal with the very entity that was destroying them? What if the safe harbor is actually bait, a cosmic feeding ground where this predator waits for curious, hopeful civilizations like ours to come looking for survivors? The final signal from 3i Atlas was a warning, a tombstone, and a map. Was it a gift to help us survive, or have we just been put on notice? Like and subscribe.